Let's see if we can get this out for you. So as I said, I'm going to start off with some suction. Uh, I might need to use some other instruments as well. I'm just going to tilt your head slightly to you like that. That's perfect. Try and get this out in one go. I've got a bit of suction grip. Hopefully, comes out in one lump. Re-examine your ear, hopefully that's all the wax, which it is. Your eardrum's nice and healthy, it might be slightly mm. retracted, I'll explain what that is in a moment, otherwise you're clear of wax. A bit around the edge, but we'll leave that because that's healthy wax. How are you feeling? Excellent. Excellent. So. It's a nightmare no, at the moment. Right, well, it just didn't move coming well, in. It's going to turn machine. It's going to tilt your head over towards you. It's going to look straight ahead for me. That's it. Let's see if this bit comes out just as easily. Let's get the dead skin at the base. I'll just peel that off. Have you been using drops in your ears? Yeah. That's okay. I haven't been too bad. I got a bit bad. When I came back from Africa at Christmas and the flight back, I never really. I got a bit deaf and it's never really come back. But this is, I think, the always the, the problematic. Yeah. The consistency of the wax in this ear is. It's soft and gloopy, which makes it hard to vacuum actually at times. It was this other one that was a problem last time. Was it left side last time? I remember. All the way down the ear canal up to the eardrum. Let's just get that out first so we can see the distance. Are you feeling all right? Thank you. It's a bit more complex. The wax is almost like a liquid in this side. Gluey liquid, so it's very difficult to vacuum. We are making good progress. I might just have got some olive oil drops. What olive oil would do might just bring that wax together. So if I do get suction grip, it comes out in one go. Let's have one last go. Quite narrow. 
but it can be going too near. And the inside part of your ear is always more sensitive, so we just have to be more cautious. Yeah, let's just pull up my tube. I'm just going to put some drops in there. Oil's made any difference. It's made the consistency. It's going to vacuum some of the oil out of there. It's going to be drained you in. There's a bit of residue oil inside. Mm. See half your eardrum. Oh, <laughs> Let's see if we can get a bit more out. This is, as I said, it's it's, a, it's quite narrow near the eardrum, the ear canal. There's a little, very little space to work with. Let's see if we can get some pocket out first as well. going to go in with a different instrument because we're approaching the eardrum. Okay. This is a fine end. It's less suction power, so it does make it a bit more work on my part. However, it's more comfortable in your ear, especially when we approach the eardrum. Let's hope. Hopefully it continues to stay that way. <laughs> it's just got some wax plastered over the drum. So we're going to Remove that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to count the tube so we can get access to it. Otherwise, we're going to make contact with the bone, the bony part of the ear, ear canal, which is very sensitive. got most of the wax off the eardrum. There is some left in a part of the eardrum called the anterior recess, which is a, looks like a little valley or yeah, a little, it's like a little hideaway spot near the eardrum on the right hand side where the wax can settle and it's very difficult to get access. Uh, with a microscope, you may not have to visualise that, but with an endoscope you can. But it's adjacent to the ear canal wall, which is very sensitive. And how are you feeling now? I feel that shows all right, yes. It may not be so well, you know. excellent. I'll be shouting <laughs> It may not be safe to try and remove any more. Let's just have a look. The main purpose of the appointment, obviously, is to relieve your symptoms, which I think is done. I just don't want to cause you any unnecessary pain. And getting that wax out of that corner will be very difficult. Okay. But it will naturally migrate by itself now because the wax in front of it's all been removed. Uh, just leave it up for the day on it. You can put some drops in some olive oil, I think that will possibly help. Let me just see if I can get a bit more top. Yeah, 
Because it is wet wax that is going to be back in too well as well. I'll just get some surrounding wax to canal wall off as well. Just to help that natural migration. Oh, that's going to vacuum. Everything else is really wet. It's not going to vacuum, okay. but it's not blocking your ear canal. Uh, okay. Testing one two. Testing one two. <laughs> I can I can hear a lot better with this ear than this ear. Which, uh, yeah, it may not be well. just the wax. Let me just do a pressure test to see if your eardrum is a bit. If there's a bit of negative pressure behind the eardrum. We just try and get one to get the face of the eardrum. We don't want to cause you any pain, so we're not going to try and get anything that's going to be uncomfortable for you. I think all of this is possibly if we try and get too much out. Yeah, I can see you flinch there, so. Oh, no, it's me being a baby, I think. No, it's, it's a very sensitive part of the ear, and. We're just not going to be able to get that because it's 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 stuck in that anterior recess. Okay, well, let's hope it just goes away. Yeah, I'm happy to hear now. That's great. You're hearing better now, are you, on that yeah. side? So I'll just switch this machine off. So yeah, I'm talking at a normal level to you. It's a lot better than that yeah. one. So we'll have to look and if it gets worse, we'll have to talk to you about having hearing aids. Yeah, it may be that you've got an underlying hearing problem because the remaining bit of wax on that eardrum shouldn't really affect your hearing. I can so, hear you pretty well. Yeah, you can hear me well, but you're yeah. saying not as good as your left side. So if I keep speaking to you, if you notice it's better on your left still. So yeah, there's I'm not a lot in it, actually. Not a lot into it. Actually, no. We just went in your ear, so when we go in your ear with a suction probe, it can cause what we call a temporary threshold shift. Because it's quite noisy, it can uh, momentarily reduce your hearing. But yeah, you think that's pretty, more... It's, it's pretty good now, You feel yeah. it's more balanced. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, it was just a suction probe reducing um, your hearing temporarily, and it's come back. All right. Excellent, but I'll show you on the video what we've done. I'm yeah. really pleased with that. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry I was late. No, that's fine. I don't